So a lot of these fans certainly have come out to see her here tonight. She's got a crowd-pleasing style, and you can argue the best boxing in her division. Well, she's she's tremendous. I mean, you would think that she would be out there with Kayla Mayer and Katie Thomas, but instead, she's in the UFC's octagon fighting in mixed martial arts, but possessing a skill set that's catered for the, for the squared circle. That is catered for the boxing ring. She does a tremendous job fighting behind the jabs, setting up her second shot. It's never the first shot that gets you. It's the setup to that shot that really does hurt her opponents. She's tremendous, and I love watching her use the sweet science oh. to climb the ranks in the UFC. Yeah, and her opponent told us in the fighter meeting, I can't allow her to establish that jab or it's going to be a long night, and you know she's going to try to get it going early. We shall see. herself a well-rounded mixed martial artist and she certainly is that but the conversation begins with her hands you can argue she is one of the best boxers to cross into mixed martial arts really in the last five to ten years well she is she's very good at what she does and she knows that and she'll tell you that hey i'm gonna box your brains out you're gonna my jab will be in your face the entire night you have to stop it you say you're going to take me down and get past my footwork. She does everything so well that it's hard to really figure out a path to beat this young lady. She's tremendous. I'm a massive fan, and I cannot wait until this fight starts. And her opponent obviously has some grappling chops. We'll see if she can try to impose her will on the decorated boxer here at Big Spot. Tonight's tale of the tick. All right, now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Arena Aldana! Herbert Dean's in the building. He's the third man in the octagon tonight. All right, here we go, DC. A great matchup here, especially if you like boxing. These two women absolutely know how to use their hands at the highest level. Both of them know exactly how to use their hands and exactly how to set their opponents up to find that shot that they can knock you out. Both of these young ladies have trained boxing their entire lives. Tonight, they get to put those skills on display. Effective strike there by Grosso. Well, no feeling out process tonight. These fighters are trading strikes and both are landing at will. Yeah, edge of your seat action. We expected it to be good. These women are delivering. Aldana gets hit by that leg kick. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed without it. Her opponents are beautiful placement on that hook. What a great job of finding such a massive shot. All right, well, she's landed those hooks and a high clip here tonight. Actually, some fans are starting to call her Mrs. Lineker. I think it's a pretty good nickname. Oh, it's a great nickname because they fight in the same style. She's very heavy-footed because she wants to get everything into that left hook, right hook, body hook, head hook. No matter where, she is just throwing those big digging punches all over her opponent's body. All right, let's see if she can get back to the hook here. Of course, she'll need a setup here, work off of the jab, and punctuate her combination with that patented hook. Looking to establish the jab here. Nicely done by Grosso. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Back and forth we go. 
Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Oh, Rene Aldana gets caught with that punch. Relax, relax. Keep your head. Oh, nice hook. Grosso gets hit with a kick. That was a big check. She slips that left hand there. That jam is landing on her all day. Good straight hand there by Aldon. No idea how these two women are standing. They are both landing massive shots. How good a job does she do defensively to protect that head, raise the guard? A lot of good things in there. Yep, hands up, chin down. She's got a perfect position for defensive boxing. Past the two-minute mark in round one. And now that jab starting to get established. Take down now. Nice body shot. She continues to circle towards the left. Had a huge strike right there, DC. Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. Oh my goodness! Big punch from the clinch. Well, hard to see exactly where she is cut, but it's somewhere around that eye area. Doesn't look great. <laughs> Now she lands a leg kick. Keep going with that. Under a minute to go. Back kick there. This is a crazy high pace. Well, pretty good recovery by her opponent after being stunned, but we see this all the time, right? If you don't close the deal when you have that opportunity, your opponent's back in the fight and can potentially wrap. Especially with this opponent. This opponent's so dangerous all the time. It does not matter. Now this could be the beginning of the end for her opponent. It seems like we are in the final act of a four-part play because this fight is about done. Stop, stop, stop. All right, so there's the horn indicating the end of the round, but not before damage was done. She was cut on her cheek from the strike in that round, and now the focus for the cut man shutting that thing and making sure it doesn't become a factor here moving forward. All right, so she's making her way back to the stool, kind of shaking her head, thought maybe that knockdown would have produced a finish. Not so much. She's a little discouraged right now because she thought that the fight was over. But if you know her, if you spent any time with her, you understand that she's a smart fighter, and she will get right back to doing what she needs to do to win this fight. You ready to fight? You ready? Go All right, round two. Go hook! Oh, she's really starting to put together some significant body shots. Shots here, attacking both sides now. Oh, nice little right hook there. Well, she's got a good jab, missed with it there. She blocked that punch. Oh, oh she is bobbled now. Nice leg kick. Straight punch, that is useful. All right, so she told us in the fighter meeting the body shots were going to be key, and they certainly have been. She invested early, and now you're starting to see some damage on the other side. Yeah, she's doing a great job of following the game plan. Yeah, man, she landed a massive hook, and it has her opponent hurt bad. 
big right hand. All right, so her hooks have certainly been the big storyline in this one, DC. Give us a prediction. You think she goes back to it here? She's absolutely going to go back to it. When I look at her fight, I think of John Lineker, where he just throws hooks to the body, hooks to the head. She does a great job of mixing up the target, and now as the fight has progressed, expect her to try to really sit down on one and end the fight. That opened up the cut around her eye area. Got to shore up the defense. Yeah, she's got to move her head. She has not moved her head effectively, and now she's dealing with the cut. Oh, there. Probably her best strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands, and she lands very effectively. And just misses with that big right hand. Grosso's got a nasty bruise starting to appear on that left side. We'll keep an eye on it. Could pay dividends later. Well, she blocked that punch. Ooh, thought she might have had the counter swing and a miss, though. So starting to bruise pretty good here. Well, masterful job by her defensively yet again. You're not winning all the time when you're playing defense, but a nice job to raise the hands there. She keeps her hands up, keeps her chin down, so her opponent is not getting through with any of her head shots. Well, this is one of the more active rounds we have seen all night long. Both of these women have realized success with the striking, and both seem damaged. It's always fun when you get a fight like this, where you see the blood on both sides, where you see the swell. What a strike by her there. I'd be knocked out. Her opponent still stands. She's still standing. She's standing on her right now. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent from finishing her. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. Nope. Oh, oh she's hurt. Man, she's got it all going with the hands, with the feet tonight, and that cut is really becoming a factor now as this fight continues. Yes, yeah, she's got to move, Jay. She's got to get on her bicycle. She's got to get to the middle of the round. Under a minute now to go in the round. Yeah, that is not the worst cut we've ever seen in the UFC, but a lot of blood donation happening right here, right now, as her opponent continues to target that area. Yeah, I mean, you are a, you have a, a fighter in front of you who is so disciplined, who is so sharp. You have got to get on your bicycle, you got to get on the outside, limit the damage, get between rounds, and then try to reset, because right now, this cut is only getting worse. Altana's eye is starting to close up. Got to get that end swell on it between rounds if we get there. That hook was bad. 20 seconds to go round two. Beautiful strike. Oh, clinch position. Watch the knees and the elbows come down. Oh, so the round is over, but not before she got absolutely starched by that huge shot just before the final horn. So she goes back to the stool now. We'll see the extent to which she can recover. As many of you know, 60 seconds, not a lot of time. All right, so there's the horn. The round is over, and we've got more fighting. It looked like maybe we'd get a finish there after she landed upstairs. Well, she was excited. She thought it was done. How does she reshift? How does she get herself back in the moment to try to repeat what she just did, but also top it and actually get the finish? You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Well, get the bonus checks ready as our next round gets underway. This crowd is going sick and hard to blame them after what they saw in the previous They round. are going crazy. These two young ladies are putting on a show. <laughs> She's got
got a good jab. Oh! Could be the beginning of the end here. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. Big shot there for both guys. Grosso's eye appears to be closing up by the second. Just a slip there. Well, they don't let you wear headgear, but she don't need it tonight, right? Beautiful job defensive. She's doing a great job of blocking up top. Nothing of it. Oh! Big knee there. Oh, nice body shot. Oh, big shots getting through. Grosso's taking aim at that cut right now, DC, and you got to admire the fighter IQ, right? Might as well keep landing strikes on a target that you have damaged repeatedly throughout the fight. She's able to block that shot. She continues to punish the body yet again, just as she did in the last round, picking up exactly where she left off. Oh, huge shot by her right over the top. Her opponent in a world of trouble now. Her opponent in a world of trouble. She landed that punch in the exact spot that she needed to. Look for her to throw that overhand again here. It's okay. Keep going. Keep Just going. over three minutes. Oh, my God. What a turn of events here inside this arena. An absolutely crazy flush knockout, and there's going to be no wiping that smile off her face tonight. She's going to be smiling all the way to the bank after a knockout like that. What a performance. What a knockout. Unbelievable. All right, Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Bruce. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 56 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Alexa Grosso! So the Guadalajaran gangster, Alexa Grosso, getting it done by knockout here tonight. And for a while, she was outpointing people, and pretty convincingly, nice to have a finish in one of that magnitude. As the confidence grows, you're going to see Alexa Grosso do more and more of this. She possesses all the skills in order to have these types of performances. Tonight, she put on paper exactly what she intended to.